everybody. My name's Kim. I'm just setting up for a body flow right now. We are going to be going live. Well, technically we're already live. We're going to be starting class right at two. So two more minutes. I'm trying to figure out how many times my dog wants to go outside today <laughs> in the hour long class that we have. Hopefully not too much. Um, I see some people logging on. So just while we wait for a couple more, I just want to let you guys know this is body flow class. It's a Les Mills class. It is um, traditionally a Tai Chi, yoga, and Pilates class, but this release that they gave us is Tai Chi free. So it's just a yoga and Pilates class. Um, really, really great way to end the weekend. A lot of like slow holds, slow transitions, lots of breath work, things that like we kind of need to just bring us back to just that calmness and peace <laughs> that some of us might be lacking right now. I know I, for one, struggled through the week of remote learning. It was a long week, so it's nice that we've made it to Friday. Um, I wish I could say it's going to be as beautiful this weekend, but if you like snow, then maybe this is your weekend. <laughs> um, anyways, you do not need any props. If you have a mat, uh, feel free to grab it. If you have like a beach towel, anything like that, that's fine. Um, mats aren't really needed, but we do do some rolling and some laying on our backs, especially during the Pilates core tracks. So if you are practicing on, on a wooden floor, I'd just recommend kind of like doubling up on beach towels or, you know, whatever. Shower towels. <laughs> um, if you don't have a mat. If you also know that like knees or hips or any of those joints are a little bit sore, a little hand towel is always a good choice to just add in a little bit more, you know, padding. And then we also have blocks. If you have a yoga block, feel free to grab it or books or a can of soup or whatever that gives you a little bit more height. We do do some slow like holds and stuff. So it's sometimes nice to have that ability to just have the block there. As we've spent more time inside and, and in quarantine and stuff like that and with the stress of the situation we're under, our bodies are adjusting in different ways and you may find that some poses that are typically pretty easy for you are a little bit harder. So just some things to think about. Um, don't get discouraged if you find your practices different. Um, I find mine is evolving like every day and every time of day. Two o'clock is a weird time for me to practice. So um, I'm a little bit more stiff and maybe a little bit more loose on other sides. So just pay attention to your body. All right, so we have a pretty good number of people. So just before we get rolling, because it's right now just two, we're just going to talk about our awesome disclaimer that we have. Um, just so you know, it's a virtual class. I wish so much that I could see you, I could practice with you. Unfortunately, I can't. Um, can't wait till we actually can again. But um, until we can, we have this awesome opportunity to use, you know, social media to be able to just practice together. So we are reaching more members and more friends and all those things. So if you ever have questions about Hampshire Hills, don't hesitate to check in and check us out. Um, but while you practice at home, again, I can't adjust you and I can't see you. So if you have questions, feel free to ask us questions afterwards. I'll try to re respond in the comments. During's a little tricky just because I'm a little bit further away. Um, but I can't adjust you, so listen to your body. If you find that something feels a little bit different, maybe come back. Um, check in with your range of motion. Don't push it too hard. You know, it's no, it's no use getting hurt. So enjoy the class for what it is. Focus on the breath. Try to get some peace and just come into it with just a ready to just kind of tackle the next week in the weekend. So when you're ready, we are going to start, and I think we figured out the music last week. So what I want you to do is lay onto your mats um, in child's pose, not on your back. <laughs> and we are going to start. So coming to your mats, please. Bringing the arms far in front, toes together, knees nice and wide. Sit back with the bone right over the heels and let the forehead rest to the mat. Stretching along through the arms, just find a nice big opening for the back body. And that softness through the belly as you just kind of hollow out and just settle in. Finding big, slow, strong, steady breaths. Take the back arm, threading it underneath twisting through the shoulder blades, and maybe even resting the cheek on the mat. Feel free to close the eyes if you'd like, and just focus on inhaling and exhaling. When you're ready, switching sides, the front arm will thread to the back of the room. Again, resting the cheek if you would wish. Feeling that small little twist through the upper spine. Feel it relaxing in the waking up between the shoulder blades and the upper back. And let that travel down all the way through the tailbone.
hands will stretch in front. We'll press ourselves forward to a table position with hands placed right underneath the shoulders. I want you to round the back, come into that cat pose, pressing through the spine, pulling belly button in. Now take the back arm, front leg, reaching wide in pointer. Touching down again, rounding through the shoulders, feeling opening through the back. Now switch sides, staying as square to the floor as possible here. Again, one more each side, pressing through the hands. Now reach and extend. Last one here. And extend. Bringing the hands down right underneath the shoulder blades, tuck the toes, and I want you to strain through the legs, pressing up to your first down dog. Now you're actively staying in this pose here, pressing through the shoulder blades and rounding them down the back, so really tucking them towards the hips. If you'd like to, you can walk the dog, stretching one leg long and then the other. Focusing on each breath in and out. If you'd like to, you can bend the knees and bring the chest closer towards the thighs before straightening out the legs. Start to slowly walk the feet in, finding your way to a forward fold. Hands can rest to the floor or they can rest to the mat. Dog hair all over me. <laughs> Take a minute here, wag through the spine. evenly between the four corners of your feet, finding a little softness through the toes, pressing down right behind the big toe and baby. We start to slowly roll up one vertebrae at a time, the arms circling overhead, reaching to the sky, squeezing through the back body, the baby back bend. Arms come wide as you dive down towards the floor, pressing through the shins, finding a nice big flat back extension. Now let it go again, coming back to that forward fold. We'll start by taking our front leg back into a nice long lunge. Both hands press down as we round into that down dog. Now float yourself forward, tuck the knees and lower down. Good, rolling just the head, neck and shoulders, squeeze the back body, then tuck the toes right back to that down dog. We'll take a big scoop through the spine, front leg finds its way forward, and then back leg joins to meet. Now that's our sun south. We'll roll to stand, reaching all the way to the sky and come right back down with a nice big flat back. Good, pressing through the shins, find that space. Now let it go, find that softening. This time back leg leads, it comes to the back, pressing through the heels. Now square the hips. When you're ready, float forward. Staying on the toes or come to the knees, we'll lower down this time, stop halfway, hold here and press. Good, now rounding all the way back, back to that down dog. Back leg, big step, lunging forward, knee right over the ankle and step together. Big breath in, raised. And right back down. Pressing through the shins, finding even more space than before. Let it go. Big step with that front leg, press through the heel, squaring the hips. Now square the hips to the sky, both arms to the floor. Circle forward, bracing the belly, elbows right next to the spine as we lower, find that pause, now press. Perfect, feeling the opening through the chest, round back. Front leg, find that big scoop forward. Squaring the hips, step together. 
Coming again, press through the feet, finding a big breath in. Now exhale, let it all go. Inhaling, pressing through the shins. Good, exhaling, finding that softening. Inhale, the back leg, all the way to the back of the mat. Good, exhale. Floating forward with a big breath. Slowly lower down. With that big breath in, feel it fuel you as you scoop. Good, exhaling through to the heels. Back leg, big step. Perfect, stepping together. One more round each side when you're ready, press to stand. Right back down. Pressing through the shins, finding that slow, steady breath. Letting it go. Anything you've been holding on to, front leg, find that hang time, reaching further than before. Now knee up right next to the toes. Floating forward. Good, lower down. Taking it slow. Find no stopping and starting point between each pose. Good, start to round. Continue moving. Now scoop that knee and hold tight and touch down. Continue to evolve through the pose. When you're ready, start to roll. Good, come down. Pressing through the shins, continuing to open through the each moment of the pose. Now slowly let it go. Back leg, find that hang time. Touch down, keep opening. Now meet up to the leg. Good, floating forward. Good, slowing it down. Scooping through. Good, press back. Back leg. Stepping in. Perfect. Now sitting back, finding your way to an intense pose. If you're in that intense pose, knees will be together, hips square to me. Roll the shoulder blades back and sit down like you're sitting into a chair. So almost like you're lowering down, right? Now take the arms, let them come up, and I want you to roll them wide so they soften into the shoulder blades. Stay here. Now the body stays where it is, just the arms will start to open in that wonderful pose, widening and reaching them towards like the corners of the rooms, pulling the shoulder blades down the back even more than before. Find the big breath. Taking the front leg, step back, find your way to a warrior one. So the back knee here, which is in the front of your body, the knee is right over the ankle. Hips stay square to the side wall. The back heel presses down, and we're gonna raise up the arms towards the sky. Big, slow, steady breaths here. Turning to face me, finding warrior two. Again, the knee stays right where it is, pulling to the back of the room. Hips are a little bit more square onto me, and arms reach to the side. Option to stay here or raise off that front heel, but keep pressing the knee away. So find that softness. We're going to extend, reaching over that bent knee. Now reach all the way to the sky and to the back of the room. The back arm will reach down the leg, finding that C shape in Sun Warrior. So the entire side ribs are really kissing here. They're crunching together. There's a lot of opening of space through the side body. Touching down the heel, straighten the leg nice and long. Press the hips towards the back of the room. And we'll find that that starts to elongate the spine, reaching towards the front. Now take the arms, reach them wide here. We're coming to triangle pose. A great time to grab a block if you need to. Where we're reaching an opening wide through the spine. Now continue to step, pull the hips long. Feeling the opening from the hip all the way through the obliques up into the shoulders. Continue to roll back the length of the spine. Find those slow, steady breaths here. This is our standing strength. Good. Switching sides. So I'm going to come a little to the diagonal so you can see me better. Sitting back into that intense pose and then let the arms fall apart here. 
so belly continues to be tucked, tailbone's rolled under, legs are fired into each other. With a big breath in, let that front leg reach back. Hips now square to the other side. The back knee, the one that's leading here, right over the ankle. Pull that hip here, right to the front of the room. Now feel the softening, feel your strength that's hiding here. Another big breath, open up through the arms, twisting, evolving here. Knee continues to reach back, feeling more width and space through the spine. Stay here, or if you'd like, lift that heel up. I don't know if you can see in the comments. So that heel's raised, if you'd like, keep pressing the knee away. Good. Now find that extension, reaching towards that wall. Come back to Sun Warrior. The hand that's reaching down the leg is there just for support. So try not to weight into it. Let it just float and hold you up through the spine. One more time to triangle. Straining through the legs, press the hips towards the back of the room. The head dips closer towards the floor and just reach. Now continue to stack through the hips, the shoulders, roll them back, really bracing those side obliques to hold you up and also level up that side body. If the neck feels too much, I want you to drop the gaze towards the floor. Just slow down the breath. Keeping feet nice and wide, stacking the ankles right over the knees, pull the knees towards the back of the room. Now let the arms drop through the middle, reaching to the sky. With each breath, see if you can soften into the hips, coming a little bit lower. Stay here or lift off the heels. Find the breath. Now we're raising up. Awesome job. We have our standing strength track. So if you have one of those really thick, squishy mats, be mindful, maybe come off the mat if you need to. We'll take the hands together, reaching towards the sky, lift off the heels, and stretch nice and tall here. Hands come through heart center. We'll start in tree pose on the left side. So take that left ankle, reach up towards the ankle, below or above the knee. So I want you to press evenly between the foot and the leg, squaring the hips, and then strengthening through the spine. So hands can come back to heart center. Roll the shoulder blades back and feel that softness. So like a tree, we have choices. We can stay where we are, or we can start to grow. It is spring. So maybe for you today, you're reaching behind that bent knee. Maybe you're reaching for a toe, or maybe you're stretching nice and long. Continuing to grow and evolve. Good, hands come together again, back to the beginning. We're lifting off, raising the heels and stretching tall. Good, coming back down again. Tree pose on the right side. So taking the ankle up, avoiding that knee area, finding what works for you. Take a minute to square in, finding that strong trunk, that footing. Now actively press the hands together to engage the back body here. And then I want you to brace the core. So like a strong trunk, you're growing taller and growing through layers. staying here or continuing to grow, finding what works for you today. Remember, like a tree, there'll be wind, there'll be those elements, maybe even snow. So just stand tall as long as works for you. Now try to take that leg, not touching down, catching it through the inner sole, inner arch of the foot. Same hand, now bring the knees together and extend the opposite arm to the sky. We'll start to tip forward, starting to come to that dancer's pose. For you today, you might just be here, and that's all right. 
Or maybe you're coming a little bit more parallel, the chest reaching closer towards the floor and the back leg lifting a bit higher. Good, switching sides, bending the inner sole, the arch of the foot, bringing the knees together, reach tall here. Start to just shift the weight forward, taking up even more space. Staying with your breath. Feet will come back together, palms together, reaching one more time to the sky. Nice job. Coming down to our mats, to our hip opener. We're gonna take our legs to that 90-90 pose. So the legs can have a nice big bend to them, finding the opening through the hip or if you know that swan pose feels better to you, I want you to square the hips towards the mat, walking that front knee, or the back one, the one that's behind you, away. Now square the hips towards the floor and just start to drop in, laying the chest right over that bent leg. Now you can stay here if you wanna add a little more. Take the hands, walking them to the back of the room and add in a bit of an arch through the spine. Continuing to reach and feel the opening through the obliques all the way into the hips. Choice to stay here or maybe adding in a quad stretch, reaching and grabbing that ankle. Option to stay here or add in mermaid, latching the foot towards the elbow, taking the front arm and trying to connect with the hands. Maybe you're just playing with your balance today and just holding here and just getting focused on the hips being a little bit wider and settling in. Do what feels right to your body today. Good, we'll switch sides. So taking that leg, turning around, staying at 90-90 if it works for you, or coming all the way to swan, keeping to square off the hips and reach yourself forward. Good, stay here, finding the opening in softness. If you'd like, you can choose to reach for the back of the room, finding a little bit more opening through the obliques. in that quad stretch if you'd like, continuing to press through the hips evenly to the floor, or latching through the foot and reaching, finding your way to mermaid. Wherever you are, find that softness, just settling in through the spine, the opening through the hips, good, we'll catch this foot as it floats around and bring it to the front, finding that crisscross position with the left foot in front, or coming to the top here. If the foot's on top, flex the foot to protect the knee, press the hips down, and just start to reach forward, finding a nice long spine. Coming to a P and F stretch, we'll bring the forearms to the thighs. Now I want you to brace the belly and actively press the legs into the arm and the arms into the legs. Good, soften here, roll the shoulders if you'd like. Take another big breath and we'll again press up, activating the core as we press into the legs and the arms. Good, find that softness. When you're ready, we'll come through with one more. Find the brace of the core, now engage and press. Good, letting that go. Take a minute, take the arms a little bit more wide, roll the shoulders and find the zip up through the midline. We're gonna take the hand on the same side as that foot, reach to the sky, and then come all the way over, see shaping the spine. Now paying attention to the back hip here, the one that's furthest from the hand, I want you to continue to roll that hip down and open through the shoulder. So use the hand that's on the floor to press down 
to allow the hip to stay connected to the floor. Good. One more pose. Soles of the feet together in star pose, butterfly pose. And take the head closer towards the feet. Slow down the breath. I'm going to find your focus. We'll switch sides. We'll take that other leg and either to the front or the top. Now again, find the six bones, knees down, foot flexed, pulling back. Good. Now just walking the self forward a little bit, use the hands to press the bone down, really bracing the belly so the spine is nice and long. All right, back to that PNF stretch, stretching the hands down. Take a big breath in and now engage the core as you press. Good, let it go, find that softness. Maybe wagging through the spine if you need to. When you're ready again, press up and down, bracing the core here. Feel that engagement. Good, now feel that softness. We're finding some space that might be hidden there. One more time. Now press, hold. Good, stay here. Good, letting go. Take the arms nice and wide, stack through the spine. Other hand closest to the foot, we'll reach up. Good, find that C shape, rolling through the spine. Let the top arm roll back. Stay here for another big breath. Good, coming out of that, the soles of the feet together, the knees nice and wide, softly resting towards the floor. With a big breath in and a nice long spine, let yourself come forward. Beautiful job. So we've made it to our Pilates core traps and we moved kind of quick. So I know there's some comments. I'm gonna to try to find time to peek up that there. But if you need a lot of things, just flood the comments. I want you to roll to your back so Bringing knees to tabletop position. Fingertips to temples. We'll cross crawl to the front and back. So with these Pilates core traps, we really wanna focus on our core here. So pressing our lower back to the mat, almost in that neutral position. Keeping spine nice and long, so a gentle tuck to the chin. Legs can stay where they are, or maybe perhaps they're reaching a little further today. This is a monster of a track though, so I want you to pay attention to what you need today to help you get through it. If you want to, let's come a little quicker. One, two. So you're just rolling from shoulder to shoulder here, bracing the core as you twist. It's kind of like wringing out a towel. Two more. Last set. Knees come wide, toes together as we try to reach for our toes for four. Now extend, double leg extension, reach for the opposite wall. Coming again, four, three, two, one, and stretch. Keep pressing the lower back down. If this is too much for you today, what I want you to do is take the toes, tap them down, and a double toe tap. Come up. Good, extend. Keep pressing the back down, bracing the core. Come again. So finding that little tuck through the tailbone and the shoulders, right? We're lifting that head, neck, and shoulders off. But we're also lifting the lower belly in the back. All right, a little quicker. You ready? Two up. And press for two. As you press away, pay attention to the inner thighs. Keep those heels together, really squeezing the legs. Good, adding some tension. Stay here. I know you're getting tired, but see if you can make that next rep even better than the last. Last one here. Good, we'll let our belly rest for a minute. Come back to that slow cross. Think about bringing the shoulder towards the knee. Maybe perhaps you wanna just come to 
a little hug here. All right, knees, toes to the sky. Long line from the hips to the toes. We'll take our fingers and try to reach up, tapping through the toes. Now I want you to lift the tailbone as well as the shoulders. If this is too much today, another option is to bring the hands near the neck. Try to avoid pulling here though, to avoid that strain. Good, feel that reverse crunch through that lower belly. All we have is time. Stay here. Two more. Last one. Back to that cross crawl. A little quicker. Stay with the extension. Try to kick the wall next to you. Take up as much space as you can. Two more. Back to the crunch. Try to touch your toes. Good, now extend reach. Remember, you have some choices. Staying here if you need to, or maybe it's just keeping the head down and tapping through the toes. Do what works for you today, and join us when you're ready. Now extend. Keep pressing that lower back down. Think about all of those tiny layers of muscles that we're working through. Not just the superficial outside layer, we're getting all the way down deep. Now crunch. Good, extend. Stay here. Pay attention to those inner thighs. Pay attention to the back. When you're ready, we're coming quicker. We're two. Now extend. Come up again. And reach. Good, feel those little layers of your obliques. Everything in that belly is turning on. Even our thighs, our hips, our back. Everything is working for our powerhouse. It is fueling our movements. It is making us taller. It is making us stronger. So stay with it. Almost to the end. You've got this. Keep pressing. Strong mind, strong body. Last one. Ugh. Nice job. Grabbing the legs, we're gonna roll over to a down dog. I'm gonna switch directions just so you can see me a little bit better. But it doesn't matter which way you face, I just want you to evenly press between the hands and the feet, bring the tailbone to the sky. Now we have a pretty awesome backtrack here with a lot of different combos. So I want you to pay attention to my voice, try to avoid looking at the screen to protect the neck. When you're ready, pressing through the hands, we'll squat back towards our heels for two pulls. Now round forward, finding a plank. Come again, press through the hands. Now squeeze the belly, dropping down. Nice long line. Come back. Good, squeeze, elongate through the head and heels. One more like this. Now I'm gonna challenge you. You've seen where we're going if you've been here. Come back. Front leg this time lifts up, finding that three-legged plank. Touch down, come back. Option always to drop to the knee and extend. Good, come back. Stretch long, find that space, touch down. Extending from the toes through the head, adding on, come back. Front leg lifts, but we're gonna drop into a push up. Remember, you can add that knee if you need. It looks like this, press. Good, come back. Two more. Try to do the full thing. Challenge yourself today. Last one. You got it. Good, knees come down, untuck the toes. Roll yourself down. Taking both hands in front, knit legs nice and long. We'll take our front arm around to the front ankle. Flex the foot. Knees together, pressing through the front arm, lifting the back knee off. Feeling that modified half bow. Good, let it go. Legs come nice and long. They'll stay resting into the mat, squeezing into each other. Now squeeze the bum to activate that lower back. Palms press to the floor. We'll take the arms, extend and reach. Good, pull the belly into the spine here. 
Now pull the arms back, squeezing through the lower back. Excuse me, squeezing the shoulder blades. Keep that lower back squeeze too though. Extend. Always the option to take the arms, touching them down. If you need a little bit of support, like a training wheel. When you're ready, extend and reach. You can touch down if you need to, tense those fingers. Now squeeze, feel the opening. Feel the opening, that strength, that's hiding, extend. Good, now pull back. Good, nice job. We're gonna come to the same thing on the other side. Finding that modified half bow, reaching for the back ankle, pressing the hand down. Squeeze and lift. Taking this rest, finding a nice big stretch. Beautiful work. Touch down. Squeezing the thighs together. Feel that tailbone activate. Start to tuck it under. Engaging the back body. Take the hands. Feel a little bit of opening, kind of where you want the chest to lift. Slow down the breath. Pulling the shoulder blades away from the ears. Start to brace even harder as we take the arms and extend. Find that slow, steady breath. Now pull the elbows down the back. Try to touch, touch the bum, touch the hips with them. Stay here, extend. Now tune into the belly. See if you can take the belly button, lift it off the floor, pull back, and really pull it up to the sky. Tuck it into the spine. Good, now squeeze the bum even tighter. Think about the legs growing into a tail here. Now squeeze, cement that back. Stay with the lift, stay with your strength, extend. Slow, steady breaths. Now squeeze, pull back. We are almost to the end, and then it is smooth sailing. You ready? Extend. One more big breath. Good, pull back. Hands come down, toes will tuck. Find your way back to a down dog. Take a minute, stretch through the back. We have another quick little burst here. How do you want to end your practice? Is it staying for the stretch? Or maybe you're coming through for two more. Leg lifts and press. Join me if you haven't. When you've had so much fun, take the knees down, toes together. Come all the way back to the child's pose. Take the head down towards the mat. And I want you to stay here for just a couple breaths. I was just people watching. <laughs> Hi everybody. Stay here. Dropping in, stay here for a little bit longer. Let the arms press away. Settle into the hips. Find a nice little tuck to the chin. Now we'll come forward, finding a runner's lunge. Front leg, nice big lunge forward with a knee over the ankle. Now I want you to take the toes and turn them out so they face me. Knees down, and you're gonna find just a lot of space. So if you were pregnant, you have a nice big space through the middle here. Staying here or taking that arm and just kind of wrapping it around. And if you need to, you can press to the hip to just remind yourself kind of where you're pulling up and in. Stay here with a big breath. Choice to stay here or tuck the toes in the back, lifting off the knee. Hand can stay to the hip if it would like or can always reach for the sky. One more choice is to take that arm and try to touch the back wall, seeing if you can open up the spine and the chest to the sky. Good, circling down, we'll switch sides. So front knee comes down, back leg, the knee rip, the knee is right over the ankle, the toes face the back wall. So giving yourself that space to just kind of play. Always reaching around and supporting the hip if you'd like. So what I want you to focus on is a long line. So straight from the tailbone all the way through the entire spine. Keeping the gaze to the back wall. 
you're looking over that bent knee. Staying here, or tuck the toes and reach. Now as you reach, I really want you to pull that side belly, that side body in, so it's a nice long line here. And then it gives you space to revolve and twist even further. Good, we'll circle around, finding the legs nice and long here. If you need to remove kind of the meaty part of the bum, that's fine. Taking the front foot, wrapping it over the knee. Now, if you're not pregnant, we'll twist towards the knee. If you are, I'd like you to twist away, so you give your belly space. Just sitting here and slowing down the breath. Perhaps you'd like to bend the knee in, maybe. Or maybe even finding that elbow in, allowing some more space to rotate. One more choice. Reaching for the outside of the foot. Extend the leg long. Does not have to be straight here. Now pull the leg to the back of the room. The belly button comes in so spine continues to reach tall. And the opposite arm reaches away. Stay here. With each breath, see if you can find a little bit more length. Maybe continuing to press through the back heel. We'll switch sides. Take that leg nice and long down towards the mat. Other foot will cross over. So again, finding that sits bone, pull the belly button in tight and start to just hug the knee. Options is bend the knee. Allow yourself to revolve with each breath. Taking the elbow in, finding even more space. Staying pure, or always finding the extension and reaching even further. Continuing to breathe and press through the heel. Big breath. Letting go of that leg. We'll take the soles of the feet together, the knees nice and wide. Pull the belly button in and just start to dip the head forward, releasing through the spine. the knees in towards each other. Give yourself a nice little hug around through the spine. And then take the feet, again walking them nice and long in front. Then this seated stick pose, take a minute to remove the fleshy parts of the bum out of the way. And find just length through the entire back of the legs, the hamstrings opening up. Now we'll snap the spine, tucking the tailbone under just a bit, bracing the belly tall and letting the shoulder blades roll down the back. Taking the belly closer towards the knees, starting to walk the arms down. And then letting the spine go when you find it feels just right to you. The head being the last to round down. Now feet can stay flexed or maybe they just wanna land as they wish, finding a little bit of softness through the ankle.
with each breath, try to soften in and just surrender to this pose a bit more. Continuing to pull the belly button up into space to allow yourself more room to play with. When you've had enough, take that front leg, holding the foot in towards the thigh. We'll again stretch long down the length of the long leg. yourself up, switching legs, bringing the other foot in towards the thigh, and rounding over the length of the long leg. to walk yourself up. We'll bring the bum closer towards the heels, grabbing onto the back of the thigh. Start to slowly roll down one vertebrae at a time. Bringing the soles of the feet to the sky with a nice bend to the knees. Reach to the outsides of the foot and pull the knees down next to the body in a happy baby pose. Now start to soften through the spine. So unwrapping the tailbone, seeing if you can lengthen a little bit longer. Now perhaps your baby's rocking today, or maybe you're finding a little bit more length, the legs. Or maybe there's one more pose that you'd like to do. I want you to take some time and go there. Finishing off your practice today as you feel is best for your body. unwrapping your legs and finding your way to Shavasana today. Maybe for you it's laying nice and long on the mat. If you're pregnant or another option is to always lay on your side. If that doesn't quite feel right, I encourage you to come to a seated position. Finding what works for your body today. Now in the nature of the time that we have, I'm going to kind of guide you to meditate, relax you, and then I'll just turn off the uh, computer so you have as much time to stay in this pose as you'd like. 
it's really important that you come out of the Shavasana, this meditation, when you're ready. So take some time to just find that relaxing, comfortable peace. And starting to find some softness together, starting at the top of the head, seeing if you can unfurl the brow, maybe relax the jaw, and gently tuck the chin to find even more space through the spine. Now in widening and finding space, try to release the shoulder blades from the ears and take up as much space on the mat as possible. Softening it in, allowing that to travel down through the arms. The rib cages will soften. The internal organs relax. And finding a little bit more width through the hips. The hips remain nice and soft with the length carrying through the legs. Stretching out from the hip to the knee, the knee to the ankle, and finally releasing through each of the toes. Finding as much softness and stillness as possible. Getting the last of the wiggles out when you're ready. Come back to the breath. See if you can find where the rise and fall lands. Maybe slowing it down just a bit more. Focusing on that wave-like motion, taking a big breath in pausing at the top, feeling the expansion through the chest, and then slowly exhale, letting every ounce of breath go. Again, hanging on at that pause, that moment of stillness and peace. Now coming again, taking a big breath in, feeling the rib cages, it reaches even further taking up even more space, holding here, and then slowly let go. When you're ready, we'll take one more final big breath in together, bigger than before, expanding the rib cage, the chest, the heart, opening up even more than before. Now hold in that peace, that moment of breath, that calm, that stillness. And then let it all go. Everything that you've been holding on to. Continuing to breathe as it feels right to your body. Staying in this moment. the stillness and softness. And when you're ready, I'd like to end class with a quote today. Feel free to focus on my words if you'd like. If not, then I want you to continue to focus on your breath. Finding the rise and the fall, the stillness, the quiet, the peace. Now this is called you are in control. I want you to know that nothing is permanent. It's the bittersweet part of life. And that's why it's so important to appreciate the truly amazing parts and people in your life. To be present and to be in the moment. 
but also to understand that the bad days will not last forever. Always be present. Always be grateful. Always know that you will get through this obstacle and that you'll always get through the next one after that. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. Namaste.